Alright guys, I'm back here today, or right now, to tell you about Windpone 2.0.0.4. I know it's a really weird name. It's just, it sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Um, so the deal is, you get installer for just like you do with the new Polish Dope Mac, only on Windows. Um, just to show you that it does work, I'm on Windows. Um, slide to unlock. I just restored mine. Right there, you guys. Video Packager, I mean Installer, App Store, and the new Installer icon, and uh, with the new Installer, let me show you guys. So it's exactly the same, but it has nothing right now, to it looks like. And although there is no real repos for it, I think there's like five um, that might work. I'll give you the link in the description over here and just put them into your installer and see if they work. I haven't tried them yet. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make your IPSW with wind pump. Let's go. Alright. So, I just finished restoring mine, so I just have to do all this right now. That's good. And I'm done. I'm only gonna automatically sing songs, but I'm not gonna play them right now because that would be annoying. So we're gonna quit this syncing and open up Winpong. I have the link to download the latest Winpong in the description box to the right of the video. And make sure it's Winpong 2.0.4. 2.0.0.4 and go to browse IPSW and you'll have to download the stock iPod or iPhone 2.0.1 restore. I have that also in the description and mine is right here. Uh, iPod 2.0.1 5B108 restore. So open it. It'll take a while to load up. Just for more, and it should be done around now. All right, see, recognize his iPod. Make sure it says recognized, and be sure to make an iPod. Yeah, sure. Go into IPSW Builder and click Cydia Installer 2.0 and YouTube Activation Fix. So just check everything. Off. And partition resizer. This is pretty cool. Um, if you've used the jailbroken iPod before. You don't know they get to use boss tool so you stop getting that running out of disk space error. But this is so you can resize it. Um I don't know, I'd recommend around nine hundred to seven hundred, maybe one gig. It goes all the way up to two gigs. So that's pretty cool, so you don't have to use boss tool anymore. Um you don't need to mess with the custom payload. And custom images, I'm pretty sure you should do this. Use custom images and you know I'll have a site where you can save images and use them as your boot logos. And there's some pretty cool boot logos and restore logos on there. Or you can use Winpone's built in search, but I don't think that one's working on 2.0.4 right now. So you'll have to use that link I give you if you want other images for your boot logo. So make sure you just do the application, the custom images, and the the custom payload, and set this to whatever you want. And once you did all that, click build IPSW uh, I'm not gonna but you should have it successful and if you don't just um, send me a message and tell me why and once it's done go to iPoner and go to your desktop and oh I saved it to my desktop but wherever you saved your custom firmware that you just made open it up wait See, you're killing iTunes. Your iTunes has been pwned. Click, just click OK. You can now exit out of one phone. Open up iTunes. Don't know why it's okay. It's up. So here's iTunes. 
it's syncing my iPod because I've already restored. But here's how you do it. You have to make sure you hold shift and you have to already be on 2.0.1 for this. Um, you have to press shift, click restore, and just select the custom firmware you just made. But if you get an error, if it, if it stops restoring and it's, it gives you an error, it doesn't matter. Just put your iPhone or iPod into DFU mode. And if you don't know what DFU mode is, it's like this. Alright. You just hold down the home button and the sleep wait button for 10 seconds approximately. So you just go 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, and so on. So you get to 10. And let go of the sleep awake button when you get to 10. And keep holding the home button. And once it's in DFU mode, it should still have a blank screen, but iTunes should have recognized it. Then do shift click restore and open up your custom firmware. And it should work. So I recommend putting it into DFU mode first. Okay? That's how you pwn your iPod to get installer, Cydia, and the App Store all working in harmony. Um, I'll give you all the stuff you need in the description. Thanks for watching. Comment, and subscribe.